Hello wonderful patrons, um, this morning I have confirmed that this commit was already included in the latest Blender 3.5 beta release. So you can read the commit here, but the important thing is what it does. You need to set up set up your passport, passport out, um, settings to 1. When you do that, you get all of this area in black, then you like staple your overlaying texture on top of your composition and that is very good because now you can go rolling in with your mouse rolling out zoom in zoom out with your mouse and then you will see exact the same exact texture okay so let me show you the difference if you have your passport like this 0 0.5 please notice the noise size okay it is big so if I zoom in you can continue to see that it is it stays there it doesn't move if I go like this you can see clearly the texture does not move so that's wrong okay so what do we want so then you can set up your scene in this case I'm bringing this noise image passing it through a scale node using the render size and then anything that goes beyond is going to be cropped okay so just select that and mix it with a multiply node uh, to place it on top and just basically overlay you can also switch overlay and by the way difference which is a new uh, blending mode was included uh, previously in this week okay so now you can use the difference uh, node difference blending mode sorry to do more anime stuff so once you do this simple setup or you can just place you know a watermark or in my case noise just connect it like this, come to the viewer, activate it to the camera, look through the camera in this case, and I am also in enabling or disabling rather the camera to view thing. And from there you can just use the passport tout all the way to one. And now if you zoom in and zoom out with your mouse wheel, you will see that the texture is going to remain at a certain level um, stuck to the proportion of the image. So right now if I zoom out or, or zoom in, you'll see that it stays. Although past this point, of course, it's going to stop because there is no reason why to go beyond that if you're not going to be using it. But um, check this out. Now if it moves, it will also move with your viewport, giving you the actual feedback of what's going on so that you can have clear feedback of what's going on in your composition. Now, drum rolls. Here we go. If you move or change your viewport, your editing viewport window, like I'm just pressing home there, watch what's going to happen. Since we already activated the pass passport pass part out, sorry, pass part out uh, um, setting. Now, if you resize the viewport, it will also resize your texture and this is the only thing that I was expecting and I'm waiting for uh, since the JOR file creation back in December so now that it's been implemented I can release the file and you can also start playing with settings and everything is going to show just fine thank you so much for your support now why is that important oh boy it is important check this out um, I was looking through some of the Twitter post from one of the animators, uh, director animators in Twitter, and he shared this image. And it's just amazing because we can now understand how they manage the uh, file size and also the drawing size and also the actual composition space in pixels so that we can also try to, to do these things using Blender. As you can see, the important thing here is that the, the scanned drawing it's very sharp it's very the black pixels are very different from the area that they're going to paint and they are also using gray to put shadows inside the model why is this important because we now understand that the paper scan size is this size and then the drawing frame size is going to be actually this space so what it means is that we or rather they scan this entire area but the air area that they're going to co be compositing and moving and you know manipulating it's going to be inside here so basically it's uh, 1650 by 928 
So that's just amazing. You can, if you're、uh, from Japan, you can read the notes there. But if you're American, then you can see what I have、um, translated, roughly translated there, so that you can understand what's going on here. But this is amazing news because now we can configure our Grease Pencil workspace into this、uh, drawing frame size 1650 by 928. And from there on, there are going to be A lot of things that we're going to implement in real time compositing. Okay, this is this is huge because if you mix this plus what we have just seen, then you're going to understand how much better your anime compositions are going to be from here on. So, thank you so much for your support. I am eager to show you a lot of new things. Welcome to 2023. This is going to be an amazing year, God willing, and I wish you the best for this year. Thank you very much.